Hi there, I'm Jen, this is Remembered Reads, and this is going to be the booktube television tag. I was tagged by Graham Quigley, and this tag was created by Kaylee Hyde, and I will link both of their videos below. I'm still massively behind on other tags, but I thought this is an easy one, so I'm gonna get this one out before I forget and have even more of a backlog. As the title suggests, this is a TV tag rather than a book tag, which is always fun to see what people's tastes in other kinds of entertainment are. Question number one is your favorite show. I think my favorite recent show was probably Black Sails, which is the Treasure Island prequel. It lasted for four seasons. It was just a super entertaining pirates action and social commentary kind of show. It's funny, it was produced by Michael Bay, which I think turned off people who would have been interested in the social commentary side of it. And I think the serious elements probably turned off a few people who would have been more interested in the action side. But honestly, I thought that show was genuinely one of the best shows I've seen in years. I thought that was brilliant. So that would be my favorite recent show. Although in terms of shows that I'm actually able to rewatch, I have a deep abiding fondness for The X-Files. Not so much the recent new seasons that we've had for the past couple of years, but the bulk of the series back in the 90s. I was always entertained by that, and there are quite a few of those that I'm really willing to rewatch, and I don't normally rewatch a lot of TV, so. Question number two is your favorite genre. Once upon a time, my favorite genre was probably science fiction, but uh, these days I think it's probably just generally historical, because I think almost everything that I watch turns out to be a historical procedural or historical action or <laughs> sometimes historical soapy dramas. <laughs> Question number three is your least favorite show. I don't know that I have a least favorite show because if I don't enjoy it, why would I keep watching it to know that it's my least favorite show? So I don't have an answer to that. Sorry. Question number four is your most rewatched show or favorite show to binge watch. Well, as I said, my, the only show that I really rewatch has been The X-Files. For his favorite show to binge watch, I think the only show that I really binge watch is Brooklyn Nine-Nine, because I, li I like to follow it, but I don't follow it week by week, so half the season airs and then I watch all of those in a row. Question number five is, do you prefer watching things week by week or binge watching? I prefer having the ability to binge watch, but as I said in response to the other question, I don't actually binge watch that frequently. So I like having the having episodes on demand, but I don't really sit there for hours on end and watch one right after the other, except for, as I said, that one, which is a, you know, 26 minute TV series. So watching those back to back isn't so much of a time commitment, but I do like having the ability to, if I wanted to watch, you know, one episode a day for a week or two episodes a day for a week, which is sort of in between. My question number six is your favorite television characters. I don't know that I have favorite television characters. Well, I always thought that some of the most nuanced characters that you saw before the current more and more TV series that are movie quality. I think my favorite characters were the, the entire main cast on Homicide Life in, on the Street. So uh, Pembleton and Bayliss, obviously, but the rest of them as well. I always thought that those were really well-drawn characters. Question number seven is favorite television ships. Well, since I said that my favorite TV show was Black Sails, I feel like I should insert a picture of one of the actual ships and, you know, intentionally misunderstand the question. I don't really care about couples in TV, though, in general. Like, I was talking about the old days of X-Files fandom, and it was a big drama. I, I mean, I actually think that's where the word shippers came from, because they used to have the separate forums of relationshippers and the no-romos, and they couldn't talk to each other, because if you hated romance or you wanted them to get together, that was a big thing. But I honestly never cared, as long as it was well done either way. I mean, I guess if I had to name favorite characters, I would say two of the sets of characters from Spartacus, uh, Crixus and Nevea, and then uh, Agron and Nasir, because they were, you know, the couple who kills together, <laughs> stays together. I don't know. I, I don't have a real <laughs> answer for that. Question number eight is a show that you could never get into. And I think uh, a super popular show that I could never get into was Breaking Bad. I tried watching it, and my husband and I tried watching it together, and I just never connected with any of the characters. I just didn't care about these people. And I've I've enjoyed some shows where the characters are very unlikable, like I loved Oz and those people were all terrible, but there's just something about it that I didn't find it compelling. I just don't get it, I guess, because I know people love it, but I just, it just didn't work for me and I was never interested in continuing with that one. Question number nine is a show that you fell out of love with. I think there are a lot of shows that I, I'm not good at keeping up with television, so there are a lot of shows that I start watching and I really enjoy 
and then I just don't bother to follow up with them when they make additional series. For example, I keep getting the notifications on Netflix that there are additional series of Peaky Blinders and Ripper Street that I've never watched, and I really enjoyed both of those, the first few years worth of both of those, but uh, I just haven't bothered catching up with them. Question number 10 is cancelled too soon. I think a show that was cancelled too soon was, what was it called? Moonlight, which was a, a vampire detective show, which was not as jokey as Angel and not as campy as Forever Night. I think it was when the writer's strike was going on and it never got a second season, but I remember that being entertaining. I haven't watched it since it was originally on, so I don't know if I would still enjoy it as much, but I remember being disappointed that that show ended up being cancelled. Question number 11 is your guilty pleasure show. My guilty pleasure show is Kutsayt and Shura, which is a Turkish historical drama about this officer from the Crimean who's in love with this Russian woman, and drama ensues, the First World War is happening, and obviously there's the political shifts that happen in Russia and then in Turkey, and lots of drama that's, you know, keeping them from living there. It, it's a soap, basically, but it has such beautiful scenery and such beautiful settings and such beautiful actors in it. <laughs> Just, it's really slow paced and a lot of, you know, soap opera cliches, but just beautiful to look at. And uh, there are actually a lot of Turkish historical dramas that are my guilty pleasures, but I think that's my favorite of them. I think my dog just sighed because he doesn't enjoy watching them with me. Question number 12 is what are you currently watching? Uh, the only current TV series that I'm following is The Alienist, which, as I said, I like those historical dramas. Although I guess it's more of a historical procedural, that one. I'm also watching the Paralympics and, you know, was watching the Olympics two weeks ago because sporting events, I just sit there and, <laughs> you know, six hours later, wonder where my day went. But that, I think, is the final question. I don't know how many people actually watch enough TV to do these. So I almost don't know who to tag. I'm gonna tag uh, Shannon Riddler from Planet Shannon because I know she does a lot of cross-media discussions on her, both on her channel and I see a lot of her Netflix experiences popping up on Instagram. So I'd be curious to see how she would answer this. But also I will tag anyone who's interested in this. If you watch enough TV to answer these questions, consider yourself tagged. I'd love to see what you do. I just am hesitant to tag people because I know some people don't follow television at all. Thanks to Graham for tagging me and that's it for now. Ciao.